Today we're going to be gas metal, arc welding, stainless steel in the 1F position, or MIG welding, commonly referred, inappropriately commonly referred, but uh, this is a mock of the joint. What I did is I went out there and I, I did some test runs, set up all the parameters and things already, but this is a mock of the joint, and a 1F, remember, isn't flat on the table. People commonly uh, think that uh, 1F means the T-joint is flat on the table. It's actually tilted so that the weld is completely flat, as you can see right here. That's where the weld is, and this is the T-joint, tilted a little bit. This is the welding symbol that you would see if you were uh, given a, a welding procedure. Uh, what this means is fill it well, opposite side, it's on the top of the reference line, it's on the bottom of the arrow side, and then the weld will be here. Convex finish, typically you want a little convex finish to give it a little more strength. And 3 eighths of an inch is the leg size of the fillet weld, which I drew up here, the 3 eighths right here, pointing from here in, that's the leg size, that's how you measure that 3 eighths. The, the material thickness is eighth of an inch thick. The coupons are about inch and a half wide by four inches uh, in length. Uh, the parameters that we set up out there are 30 cubic feet per hour, that's your, your flow meter. Uh, how much gas coverage is coming out. Speaking of gas, we'll go down here. Uh, the mix that you're going to use is a tri-mix. Stainless steel MIG typically gets a tri-mix. That means it's 7.5% argon, 2.5% CO2, and 90% helium. Helium has a higher ionization potential, which causes it to burn a lot hotter than stainless likes that. Our base metal, we'll go back up here, is going to be 304. 304 is probably the most common uh, stainless steel base metal that you're going to weld on. Not that you're not going to see other stuff, but uh, 304 is a very common stainless. Uh, 20 volts, so your volts are going to be 20 uh, inches per minute, 327 inches per minute. That's your wire feed speed. Uh, 030 is the diameter of the wire, not the smallest, but it's not really that big either. We're doing an eighth of an inch, so we don't need anything that's real thick. So 030 of an inch is our um, diameter on the uh, filler metal. And this is your filler metal classification, ER 308L SI. The, the 308 LSI means low carbon is what the L means. The SI is a silicone that's added to improve wettability of the, of the flow of the, the filler metal. And then you've got AWS A5.9. That's your specification. Typically on a welding procedure, um, you're going to see a classification and a specification. The specification is always the A5 number and the classification is always the E number. Uh, they're very easy to get confused. They're right next to each other typically too. So. I was doing a practice weld out there, the pattern I, I started with was right here straight and then I moved into kind of a more curved weave when you go out when we go out there. So I'll probably be doing more of this curved weave that seemed to work a little bit better. So when we go out in the lab what I'll do is I'll give you a shot of the uh, machine which is a Miller 252. It's just going to show you this stuff right here which we already went over but I'll do a shot anyways and then we'll get into doing these uh, 1F uh, stainless. Uh, this is a quick shot of the bottle. You can see 2.5% CO2, 7.5% argon, and the balance is helium. Just wanted to give you a quick shot of that. Like I said, we're using a Miller 252. On the left's your voltage, the right's your wire feed, 20, 327. This is just a quick look at the inside of the machine. We'll zoom in on the actual filler metal. You see there it is. Looks like I had it on the board. What we'll do now is we'll get into welding up these T-joints.
These are three 1Fs that we just got done doing, 304 stainless steel. I'll just kind of go down across the three of them so I can zoom in here. That's weld number one. These aren't ranked in order or anything, they're just randomly up there, just to give you an idea. They're kind of hard to film because they're so shiny, but we actually had, got, had to go into some dark light here. So that's the third one. Back cross one more time. These are code quality welds. No undercut. They came out real nice, so. Next time we'll go into a uh, stainless steel 2F. It's usually the progression of positions. That's all we got for today. Thanks for watching and subscribing to TV Weld. We'll see you next time.